is going to be a Super Metroid run. Uh, first time uh, doing it 100%. I've beaten this game, I don't know how many other times before, but I've never done 100% in this game. This will be the first time. This will be part one. Here we go. Um, it's not going to be a speed run or any kind of, you know, crazy tricks or anything like that. It's just going to be a uh, standard way I play through the game, pretty much. Um, it's okay. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Super Metroid, probably my most favorite game on the Super Nintendo. Which was kind of ironic because for uh, a lot of years I never played it. Even growing up and stuff, I just never got into it. And then it turned out to become one of my favorites. Harness for the good of civilization, but this would not turn out to be the case. I think the highest completion percent I've done in this game so far uh, might be, I don't know, somewhere around. 57%, 60% somewhere in there. So I have no idea how long this run is going to take uh, trying to get it, going to get everything. Um, a usual run for me at this point, um, not racing or anything, is usually between I don't know, maybe three and a half, four hours, somewhere in there. That's assuming I don't get lost. <laughs> because at least eight times out of ten I'll get lost in Meridia somewhere. <laughs> I 
um, I will be doing a few um, easier skips uh, during the playthrough. Uh, nothing crazy though, just simple stuff like simple wall jumps and things like that. Yippee skippy. large majority of the stuff is, um, but obviously if I've never done 100%, I don't know where all of it is, so. If I miss something uh, on the first wave through, that's fine. You can always come back and get it later. reason I didn't play this game for a lot of years and never really got into it is because I didn't understand how to get through the first uh, run tunnel. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know you could run slightly faster by holding down the run button. So I always got stuck at that point. And since I couldn't get past there or didn't know how to get past that part, I just gave the game up. Wrong room. Whoops. <laughs> 
I'm not sure how far this uh, first part is going to go. Um, I don't know, maybe once we reach, maybe after I kill Spore Swan. Sounds like a good spot to call part one. That just leads to Torian. Don't need to screw around with those things. Need me some rockets. Whoops. I forget which door it is. I think this one is the. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was a different one. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is the tunnel I was referring to. This is... <laughs> easy. Or no, wait, this... Might be a different one. Yeah, it's a different one. Because this one, either you have to... Use speed boost to get through it, or you can mock ball through it, so... And since I can't mock ball very well, I'm not gonna bother. I think it was the second tunnel that I always got stuck on. Yeah. change my button configuration. All this power bomb crap. I don't think we can get up there without ice beam. But we will we'll be able to, um, or I'll be able to, usual, or earlier than usual, because you can skip later on using wall jumps and stuff to get charge beam before you're supposed to, and then you can get into Norfair before you're supposed to. Because you can get the uh, wave beam earlier than usual, which will open the door there.
house. Got an energy up here. coming up next, after which we pick up uh, super missiles, and then that should do it for part one, just a short, short part. Not the most interesting boss fight in the game, but there are ways to skip them. getting mad. Yeah, there's other, if you watch like the pros run this game, um, they can actually do this part backwards, so they can go get super missiles without having to kill Spore Spawn. I'll do it for part one. So, we'll continue the adventure next time. <laughs>